Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're here on Rancho Del Arroyo and it's been a while since I've hunted Rancho here on the channel so I figured it was about time we get back out here. So we are on the level 40 account and we're going to be using a gun that I don't use that often. It's the 270. So the 270 is recommended classes 4 to 8 so I figured it'd be kind of perfect here for Rancho. Plus we have the 243 handgun for classes 2 to 3 in case we run into some bobcats or coyotes. But yeah, we're not going to waste too much time here. We're just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm not going to be looking for any diamonds or rares today. I just want to have a good hunt. Starting us off, we've got a level 3 mule deer, 199 to 260. So he's not half bad. He's not the biggest one ever. But he's right here in front of us. So we'll go ahead and take him. So he's going to be attentive there. But still just resting. So we'll go ahead and take that. And like I said, I haven't used the 270 that much. Um, so I don't really know like how fast it's going to take him to drop. But considering he is already down there, I'd say it did pretty well. Let's go ahead and take a look at this level 3 mule deer. So he's going to be just a silver at 205.46. So he went up into the 260s. What is gold exactly? 220.54. So yeah, he was really nowhere close, about 15 points off. But got him in the right lung and the left lung. Pretty good for the most part, maybe just a little bit high, but it got into the double lung and that was at 74 meters. There goes a level 6 Mexican bobcat, 22 to 25 for his estimate. So I'm hoping he will give me a shot here like that right there. So we'll take him. I knew he was over here in this general area after we'd shot the mule deer because he gave off a call and then I got over there picked up the mule deer and he was giving off even more warning calls because the wind was absolutely terrible and then yeah he just kind of went alarmed and everything and really quickly and then just took off but we got him and that is what matters so got the vital blood I see we'll get him picked up here and see exactly what he scores so he is going to be a gold 24.54 left lung and the right lung so just clipped it there in the back but managed to get both the lungs and gold for Mexican Bobcats is 23.78 so he's definitely a decent level 6. He is not very big but it's a level 4 Mexican Bobcat so we're going to go ahead and take him. He was going alarm there 19 to 21 for his estimates. So I was trying to call him in but he went alert so quickly and then he just kind of sat there went alarmed as you saw so I just went ahead and took him so he wasn't going to get any closer to us unless maybe like we laid down or something. But we did get a vital shot. He didn't like drop on the spot, but he didn't get very far either. So here he is. He's going to be a silver 21.15, left scapula, and the left lung at 75 meters. Right down there, we have a level 4 coyote, 4245. So I am calling him in. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to take him down. Sounds like we've got another one right behind us here, giving off a warning call. The wind is terrible, so I'm not sure what he is. So where did this level 4 get to? He's still just right behind the bush there. So we'll take that shot. It's going to cause the one behind us to end up fleeing. So hopefully it's not like a 9 legendary or something crazy like that. We'll probably be able to spot him as we kind of move along. But we'll get down here and get this level 4 picked up first. And we did get vital. And there he goes right there actually. So we're going to get a chance. He's a level 7, 47, 253. I'm not reloaded so I don't know how this would go. But we might be able to get a shot on him. And there goes a mule deer looks like. That is a pretty decent level 4. Actually, diamond potential goes up to 337. Let's focus on him instead. He's not going to be a diamond level 4, I don't think. But he's still pretty big. So 276 to 337. For his estimates, I will definitely take that. So let's get this coyote picked up. He's a silver 42.62. Left scapula, left lung, right lung, and the stomach. And also looks like the liver there. Just hit everything. So like I said, he is diamond potential. The diamond score is 312. So he has a good chance, but he's also a level 4. So he's probably not going to make it, but he definitely looks pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and get him picked up. And yeah, he's going to be just a gold, 301.44. Still very decent. Only 11 points off from being diamond there. Got him in the left scapula, right lung, and the left lung. So pretty good shot. A little bit far forward, but we let him just enough to get into the double lung at 79 meters. So definitely not a bad one. We've got a herd of white tail up ahead. There's also just a random bighorn sheep that is walking through if we can spot him here. Level 3 goes up to 132, but there's quite a few males over here. That one is the best one overall. He goes up to 195. That one's level 1 goes up to 171. There's quite a few just level 1s and level 2s. That one, he does go up to 198, so technically he has the better estimates. But he's not max weight potential, so this one's probably going to end up being bigger since he does go up to max weight. That one's a level 2, goes up to 157, so there's definitely some options. We might be able to get a couple of them here if we play it right. But I'm going to go ahead and stand up, and we'll just see how this goes. So if we wait for that one to kind of put his head down, we can take the big one here, and then maybe swing around and get him, like that right there. And yeah, we got both of them, so that worked out perfectly. Now I'm going to have to reload. I was going to say maybe we could get another one. So let's reload really quickly. Um, and yeah, we might be able to get one, but it's going to be pretty tough. Considering they're going through the woods there, so I'm not even going to worry about it. 
So here's the one that wasn't max weight but had the better estimates. He's a silver, 184.82, left lung and the heart, so fantastic shot on him. And then this one right here should be bigger overall. He's a silver, 189.69, so just a little bit bigger. He's going to be shot in the left lung and the right lung. He came out of nowhere, but there's a mythical Mexican bobcat, 24 to 26. So I think we can take him here as he goes just past that tree, and we got him. So yeah, I'd heard him give off a warning call earlier. I've been trying to find him now for about a couple of minutes, and just out of nowhere, he came from the left here and then darted straight in front of us and then got to where he was right there. So let's get this big bobcat picked up and see what he's going to score. He will be a gold, 26.57, so he did end up scoring at the very top end of his estimate there. Now diamond for bobcats is 27.68. Even if he was diamond potential, he's a mythical, so he was never going to make it. But we got him in the stomach, the right lung, and the liver. He didn't give us a good shot there whatsoever, but we made do and was able to get into two vitals with it, so that was at 78 meters. I think that might be the same level 7 coyote that we saw earlier when we took down the level 4, um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and take him here if we can get a shot. He's kind of all over the place, but 47 to 53, I can't remember exactly what that other one's estimates were, but let's take that shot. So 50, 75, 25, we got him up. I'm honestly a bit surprised that we did hit the vitals there because I thought I pulled the trigger just a little bit too soon. But let's go ahead and check him out. We'll find out exactly what we hit. So he is a gold, 52.20. Gold exactly for Coyotes is 48.94. So got him in the left scapula and the left lung. And yeah, just barely clipped it there. I knew I pulled the trigger a little bit soon. Um, and that kind of shows right there. But got him at 67 meters. He was also not giving us a good shot as well, just like the Bobcat was. He was kind of quartered away, but we got him and that is what matters. Right over there, we have got a couple of mule deer. There's a level three that goes up to 211, and then the other one there, he goes up to 239. So we're definitely going to take him since he has the better estimates. And we smoked him. So there is some females with him, but other than that, I don't think there's any other males. This level three mule deer is going to be a silver, 213.24. So he was only seven points off from being a gold there, but got him in the left lung, the heart, and the right lung. So that is why he was dropped on the spot. He was not going to be going anywhere. Now that mule deer there has a super wide rack, he's just a level 3, 213 to 274, but we're definitely going to take him, so I think there's a tree right there where I'm trying to shoot, so there we go, he did move, and I'm guessing that's probably going to be another heart shot, another level 3 mule deer, so this one goes up to 211, and he's going to be getting pretty close to us here, so we'll go ahead and drop him as well, we have a warning call from a coyote over here. Um, but let's pick up this one here, so like I said, he's going to be super wide, and he is a gold, 227.39. So got him in the right lung, heart, and the left lung. Pretty much the same shot as what we did on that last level three. And then we have this guy. I would assume since we dropped him, it's another heart shot. Maybe just double lung. But let's take a look. And he's going to be just a silver, 206.62. Once again, right lung, heart, and the left lung. That is a massive level four bighorn sheep, 160 to 182 for his estimates. Diamond for bighorn is 164, so he could actually make it at level four here. So let's go ahead and just take him down. Hopefully that was good. Yeah, it is 50, 75, 25. He's going to be dropping for my last diamond bighorn sheep just so happened to be a diamond level four. It was over on Silver Ridge Peaks. I just randomly shot a level four and it turned out to be a diamond, but his estimates were not as big as this one's. But let's get him picked up and we'll find out exactly what he scores here. He is unfortunately going to be just a gold at 162.66. So he is massive. Um, like we said, diamond is 164.63, but he was two points off, unfortunately. But got him in the left lung. It was a fantastic shot at 83 meters. Definitely going to get a screenshot of him just because he is massive. I can use him in the thumbnail. So we do have the shotgun with us. We just haven't used it yet today. So this level two, he goes up to five. We've got a level one that goes up to four. And then another level two, it's a female, goes up to three. So let's see if we can get all three of these here. We'll start with the biggest one. So we'll go ahead and take him. They're going to end up fleeing. We'll try and get that one. A, the other one right there, we'll go ahead and take that. So didn't get it. I see it's still running over there. Maybe we got it right there. I don't know. Here's the level two male, though. He's going to be a gold, 4.94. Got him in the flesh, so we have him. And then we have this one right here. This was the level two female, I think. So if that was the level one that got away, it's not that big a deal. But yeah, it is the level two female. Silver, 3.83. Got her in the flesh. And let's just check really quickly to see if we got this one. It would honestly be kind of lucky if we did, but I do not see it glowing anywhere, so we didn't, so I'm just going to leave her be. There's a really small bobcat, level 3, 19 to 22. He's right here, though, so we might as well take him. I'd got a warning call from him, so that is why I'm even over here in the first place. So he's facing away from us there, but that shouldn't be an issue, hopefully. But maybe it was because we apparently did not get a good shot. Um, I'm very curious to see what happened there, so we're going to try and take him again if we can. 
I saw that he was like kind of stuck right there. I don't know if he still is. There he goes. Um, let's see if we can kind of catch up to this guy. It's also nighttime, so it's hard to see exactly where everything is. But there he is, dropping to 5075. Can he turn for us just a bit? Let's take a second shot, and we got him. But I see the vitals here for the second shot, so let's get him picked up and see what happened. He is going to be a silver 20.23, so we did save him. The first shot got to the flesh, and I was just a little bit high. That was what it was. Just a little bit high, unfortunately. Had we been even an inch lower, we would have got into the right lung there. But the second shot was good. Left lung, right lung, and also the thoracic vertebrae. Was a little bit high, but I will take it at 58 meters. So right here we have got a level 6 bobcat. I'm guessing he is glitched out because he's been sitting here for about a minute now, just chilling. It shows he's fleeing and everything, but 23 to 25 for his estimate. So we're able to get just super close to him. And he doesn't do a thing. The only thing he'll do is like turn our direction if we go to the left here. So there he goes right there. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just take him down and I'll probably wrap things up after this. We've had a pretty good hunt overall. It is starting to get super dark and I don't like hunting in the dark here in the game. So let's take that. It'll be fantastic. He's going to be a gold, 24.20, right lung and the left lung, as it should be at 2 meters. That is insane. So let's go ahead and just get him accepted and everything. And like I said, that's going to do it here for this video. We had a really good hunt with the 270 today. Didn't find any diamonds or rares. But like I said, I just wanted to focus on having a good hunt versus trying to find all that stuff. So I really do hope you enjoy this video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.